Hello there, my fellow Bohemians. Rodamon here. Thank you for tuning in to Frostpunk 2 Frost Harbor. Episode 7, Law and Order. I want to set up another extraction district, but I don't have the populace to do it. Alright, here we go. I'm tired of not having enough wood, so... I'm going to set up a temporary extraction district here to sort of balance our materials before we get the Skyway built. And we have the Surveillance Watchtower now researched, but I don't actually have use of it at the moment. Alright, and both factions just radicalized. Uh, that's the problem with the counter-protest, is it solves an issue and causes a new one. But I can handle it. Alright, there we go. Overland team, what did you survey? Way up to the north, we got... People. And materials. Neither of which I immediately need. I did want them to create a skyway between Iron Home. And... Frost Harbor? There we go. It's expensive, but it will um, more than double the uh, infrastructure capacity between the two. And with any luck, we just... Oh, God. So many more people just settled in Frost Harbor. So we're going to want to um, to send them over to Iron Home to work in the iron mines. All right, uh, I am going to decide to take the cores here instead of the automatons. Oh, wow. An old oil derrick with 30 million barrels of oil. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Setting up a skyway for that, too. Oh, I made my skyway the wrong direction. Hold on, let me try this better. not go through the mountains, because the mountains are really... It's expensive, but I think it's going to be worth it, because that's a really high oil node to hit. We have 10 extra teams floating. Survey the valley. Oh, no, the plains. The plains is closer. There we go. Because I have a skyway running through it now, so it should be... If there's resources there, we should be able to exploit it cheap. And that oil path is going to help with our coal deficit that is looming. Oh, what the hell happened to the... Uh... Okay, Iron Home. We, um... Okay, we created the Skyway. And for some reason or another back home, we ran out of materials. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. That extraction district dried up. So, we can build another deep smelting, a deep melting drill there with one of the cores we just brought back to solve that immediate, like, big problem that we created. Oh, and I was an idiot and left the generator on for too long. Stuart. That's my fault. You know, let's count it as fatigue for streaming for like 12 hours. Um, I am going to be sending people from Frost Harbor, because we have uh, 1,300 extra people, from Frost Harbor to Iron Home. Because one of the goals of this scenario is to have Iron Home have at least 10k, as you can see, a populous material uh, colony up to 10,000. So that's what we're trying to do. I also have a radicalized uh, overseer. I don't really like that, but there's not much I could do about that right now. I do have the guard tower technology. And I'm going to build some surveillance towers to tamp down on the crime that we have, which should help a little bit. So I'll put two towers in. 
Crossland Scouts, what you up to? So they finished building the Skyway to the oil derrick, and we're importing 400 barrels of oil from that thing? Nice. I have... Hmm. With the extra people, I'm going to import more oil. So we start to max out our oil. Actually, no, 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 don't do that. Let's survey the valley. City has made progress towards equality. How do I find Frostpunk 2? Um, I rather enjoy it. I think there's a lot of replayability. I do think it needs to be uh, somewhat optimized. It runs a little sluggishly, especially when you have like a lot of multi-colonies. But all in all, pretty solid. Not a whole lot of complaints. Now there's going to be a, um, a a massive surge of um, of homelessness in Iron Home because I've sent a whole bunch of people over to Iron Home to work here. So I'm also going to need to tap another iron vein in order to get them gainful employment once they arrive. And we have one more core. Good. So that uh, that other core, I would like to do another deep drill in this food district here. Once I have the workforce. So that we can start tapping this deep fertile. Oh, in fact, I'm going to do that now. I think what I'm going to do is reduce the amount of people working in the other one. Because these other ones aren't like, um, they're not a deep supply. So they're going to run out. Wait, what? This has a a deep fertile soil remaining. Am I what resources am it? It says I'm not missing a resource here. Oh, it needs to expand. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. That no, that's on me. I failed to notice. Now we can do it. There wasn't a free building slot. So now between the bio-waste hothouse and the deep melting drill, uh, this will provide a lot of food, like, to the point where we might not even need the other facilities. So I'm actually going to turn off the other facilities because I have a, a notion that we won't need them up and anyway. No. Nope. Food surplus of 9 to 2 off of 1, which frees up more workforce to work elsewhere. And that also allows us to export some of the extra food back to Iron Home to keep Iron Home fed. So the scouts found more coal. And more coal. And we'll have them start surveying. I don't think there's anywhere safe that they have enough numbers to survey at the moment. So I'll have them just tap some oil to, while I uh, finish the other survey project. Bohemians begin rallying. Let's go with um, mind shaping for trust. I need to rebuild some trust with the uh, specifically with the machinist, but like trust is good. We've had some trust issues. I let some people die. And we still have a little bit of homelessness, but it's not nearly as bad as it was. And then I think the people that migrated over to Iron Home, yeah, they're here now. 
So we have homelessness here as a result of the migrants. And a uh, thousand extra people ready to work. And we're going to put them in the in the extraction district. Uh, here in Iron Home. So that we can produce more iron and be able to export that back to um, to Frost Harbor. So now we're breaking even. And I'd like to do better than that. Oh, there's only one spot at the generator that was available. Hmm, that was poor planning on my part. I don't want it too close to the housing districts. This is going to cause squalor, so instead I'm going to have it just near the other iron district. Okay, we are really producing iron now here. We can export even more of it back to Frost Harbor and then import the goods that we produce in Frost Harbor back to Iron Hill. So a little back and forth. So all that there is now to solve is a bit of a homelessness here in Iron Home, which will get resolved in due time. But it's pretty balanced. Uh, the scouts finished with the valley. We've got some population that needs shelter and coal. I have 15 free. Let's make that 25. And with that 25 free, we can start hitting some of the um, more dangerous places nearby. And I am most interested to try to get more cores. But I do have... Um, I do have a hunch that there might be a food outpost in Broken Mountains. That might be good to explore. Now back here in Frost Harbor... We've got uh, a nice surplus of materials, meaning that I can start focusing on ramping up the goods productions again. That was uh, put off for a while. I'm curious if I can get away with... No, not quite. Actually... No, no, no. I still need a deep drill here. But I can shut down the other one. Yeah, I can. Sweet. Oh, actually, you know what? I think all of the goods factories that I have is fully running. I was planning on um, spinning them up more, but they're already spun up as much as I can. Essentially, we have had a growing population, and I haven't really, really keeping up with their... Um... Oh, there we go. I haven't really been keeping up with adding more infrastructure for them, which then caused a, a slight deficit, but, you know, not, not a big one. There we go. Numbers are in the gold. Uh, squalor's growing, but other than that, crime is now zero. So with squalor growing, I'm going to research the idea of... Um, moss filtration towers. To help combat squalor. And the homelessness here is is almost fully resolved as well. 
fuel and oil is um is being stockpiled there is a storm a little bit distant on the horizon but not one that is going to immediately affect us and I'm just adding some additional homes to try to make everyone home What I was hoping to do is to reach some sort of like balanced equilibrium as a good ending point for uh, for this stream. So that's what I'm aiming to do, and hopefully I'll get to you before hell freezes over again. Re-promote Bohemians? Good call. That will de-fervor them and uh, have them more favorable to me. I haven't bothered to try to de-escalate overseers simply because if they keep escalating, I'm just going to round them up into prisons as detainees and like banish them or something. So with the brand new Moss Filtration Towers, as soon as I have the workforce to uh, build some of them, I'm going to build one to help deal with the squalor that is growing. So I need uh, 200 more workforce. Where can I borrow from? Perfect. And I'll put a moss tower next to the coal plant. That seems about reasonable. All right. So squalor is now diminishing, and we will have resolved all the immediate problems in the city. And the real flex is... I know, I know I'm not producing enough goods, but the real flex is... Um, it's negative 70 right now, which is damn close to whiteout conditions. And, uh, and we're nearly gold across the board up top. There. Now we're gold across the board up top. In whiteout conditions. Everyone has houses. Everyone has food. Everyone has goods. Everyone has materials. Uh, trust is pretty close to maximum. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty good. I'm going to research waste heat conversion to further decrease demands in housing districts with the whiteout on the, uh, on the horizon. The only thing that we don't have is a housing district here in my, um, outpost. And here's the last people that need houses being housed. Oh boy, more people just moved in. <laughs> right as I, I get everything under control, I, uh, Frost Harbor is like, oh, we harbor more. So now they're almost up to 20k. Please do not pilfer more. But all the people that just moved in, I'm going to kick over to Iron Hill. Or half of them, at least. And our uh, survey teams just finished. So what did they find? 
a arrow that points towards a food colony site or taking food and also an arrow to the colony site. So I'm going to uh, take the meat because not taking the meat upsets foragers and bohemians. And then the food colony site is somewhere, I think, in these plains. Unless it's right... No. Because this is to a workshop. So it's probably in one of these two plains. So I think the final thing I'm going to do for the stream is to uh, try to find the, the colony site. And that will be like the nice final um, thing that I, I managed to accomplish. Just so that, you know, I can start editing for tomorrow's airing of these episodes. <laughs> Oh, you know what? I think the colony site is here, actually. In the plains. Which makes sense, because it seems to be some sort of crater. So it's probably like a... A very fertile crater. Of, of some sort. Rallying Bohemians propose ideas. For mandatory unions. Sure. It's definitely going to hurt productivity, but... I'm pro-union. So, past mandatory unions. Here it is. I'm going to recruit you. This could be very possibly the final vote that you're incorporated in. If you want to participate. And we're seeing if we can't pass unions. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to negotiate with the machinists. No, actually, yeah, with the machinists. And if they help pass the unions, I will build... I will research and hold a vote for mechanized scouts. I don't think it will pass, but if it does, it does. Thank you for voting, guys. The proposed law has been approved. All right. Trust rises. Bohemians rise. Oh, I didn't realize how far away I was from gaining the machinist trusts. I have a, a kind of a long way to go. I was hoping to gain the machinist trust here, um, so that I could uh, I could de-radicalize the overseers, but like I'm, that's not happening anytime soon. And I definitely don't want to condemn them because then they become fully fervor, which is a recipe for disaster. We are exporting a bit too many materials. Balance that out. Stuart. And the foragers demand a vote on heat recycling. Ah, uh, all right. I, w I do want to keep the foragers happy. And they don't usually make a lot of demands. So, let's grant agenda to them. Oh, it's already fixed. Oh man, that's not good. So we had granted agenda. This isn't going to pass. So I'm just going to I'm just going to uh, kick a vote to it. The proposed law has been and now I can grant agenda to the foragers. Hey, and they're back on my side. And then the idea that I promised, which was the mechanized scouts or the machinists. I'm trying to regain the machinists. We'll see.
So we do have a storm on the horizon, and I haven't really been stockpiling fuel, but we do have um, deep resources of, like, coal in the city. I'm... Oh my god, wait, what? Are we heat scarce? Yes, we are. I haven't actually been paying attention. We are super heat scarce, because I have been doing a horrible job tending to that. So, uh, let's fix some of those issues. Oil Derek. Import fuel. Stupid. Mandatory unions increase their food demands? Fine. Oh, unions. And... The... I'm going to create a skyway to the other oil derrick, or the oil rig, whatever it is, so we can import even more oil in a minute. But we did do two surveys. So we found, yes, we have found the permanent fuel colony. Thought it was going to be a food colony, but it wasn't. And we are probably closing in and finding a permanent food colony. So that, well, would be a good ending point having the three colonies that we need. No, it's a military vault, of course. Yes! Food colony. Awesome. So I'll play until one more storm. I've been, um, as I mentioned, not preparing very well for it. So I'm going to see if I can't panic prepare, uh, for lack of a better term. And, uh, and then I'll end it there. So, one more storm. So what I'm trying to do is create skyways, like, quickly, so that I can dramatically ramp up the amount of oil that I am, uh, acquiring. So that I'm actually heating something back home. Uh, which reminds me... Let's boost our food. Reduce the amount of people working in there. And then try to increase the amount of people working in coal acquisition. Um, I don't currently have research going. No, we just did mechanized scouts, but um, I'm going to have that researched quickly. So I'm going to uh, turn off one of the research buildings and turn off my guard towers, uh, one of them, so that I can free up more workforce to work in the coal mines. Because I am pretty desperate for that. Okay, so everything is a little bit more balanced. We actually have foo uh, char uh, coal access. It's entirely possible that because I've not been... Oh, good! Machinists! De-radicalized. There we go. Nice. Because I haven't been really preparing for the next whiteout, I might not be ready. We'll see. The problem was it has been negative 70 all the way up until the whiteout here. And D-Bath, thank you for the gifted subs. Cheers, dude. And Max, I'll answer your question in just a minute. Um, because I haven't been properly preparing for this, I'm this might hit me like a ton of bricks, but we'll see. Overseer protests mandatory uh, unions. Uh... I'm going to try to convince them to stop, because my relationship... Oh, this is the Overseers. Right. Oh, I, I thought they were Bohemians for a second. My brain is a little mushy. So they are hitting a really unfortunate building, because this is my um, materials deep mine. This is a terrible place for them to protest. Um... Shoot. I'm going to roll with it. See how it turns out? But it's, uh, it's going to be brutal. <laughs> I can tell you that much. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Jerks. 
The overseers really know how to kick puppies. Truly. Hear ye, hear ye. The proposed law has been approved. Hear us, Stuart. Stuart? The proposed law has been approved. Okay, I can now crack down on this thing with guards. So I'm going to quell the protests actively with the guards. The quelled faction will gain fervor. But I need that... I need that, uh, that, that... Extraction district, like, up and running immediately. Thank you for tuning in to Frostpunk 2 Frost Harbor, which originally streamed live on Twitch September 21st. Frost Harbor was cut from the second half of the marathon, in the first half I covered the story, and the second half was a utopia called Frost Harbor. If you have any feedback or questions for me, let me know in the comments below. If you'd like to catch a live stream of mine, Rodamont.com has my stream schedule and countdown timers to upcoming streams. If you would like to join my online gaming community on Discord, Rodamont.com has a link to it, as does the description of this video. Thank you so very much for watching, and a special thank you to my Patreon patrons, Twitch subscribers, and viewers like you that support the channel and made it all the way to the credits. Thank you so very much. I hope to catch a next episode or an upcoming stream. Farewell, my fellow harbormen.